All right, guys, so this is a second video just to kind of help you a little bit um, because some of you may be a little confused on how to do these problems. So I'm going to offer you a couple more examples just to help you out a little bit, okay? Um, so when you're setting these problems up, remember, it depends on what they give you in the problem. So in this first one, I've underlined, it says calculate the number of moles of atoms in the following, okay? So in this case, we're looking for moles, okay? So if you're looking at your road map, we're going from the left side, so mass to moles. So if you're going from mass to moles, all right, so 800 grams of calcium times one mole is gonna go on the top because that's what we're looking for. So then grams of calcium has to go on the bottom, okay? So if we're doing that, then we go when we have to find the molar mass of calcium, which is 40.08. So we're gonna take the grams, okay, and multiply by this whole fraction, 1 over 40.08. So we're going to take 800 times 1 over 40.08, and that's going to give us 19.96 grams of calcium. Okay, so let's try the next one. The next one we have 280 grams of iron. Okay. And we're trying to find what? Moles of iron. So we're trying to find one mole of iron is equal to the atomic mass of iron. So we're going to go find Fe, okay, which is 55.85. Okay, so now we're going to take 280 times 1 over 55.85, and that's going to give us the, an answer of 5.0 moles of iron. And nobody caught this in the last one, but I accidentally wrote grams instead of moles for my unit there. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to mess you guys up. So in that situation, we're going from the mass to the number of moles, so grams to moles, okay? Now let's look at the bottom here. All right, so here it wants you to calculate the mass in grams of each of the following. So we're going to flip that reciprocal, right? So instead of having one mole at the top of our conversion factor, we're going to flip it and one mole will be on the bottom of the conversion factor. So we'll start out with we have five moles of zinc oxide, okay? So we just talked about one mole of zinc oxide is going to be on the bottom. And then we're looking for grams. So we got to find grams of zinc oxide. All right. So remember, now we're not dealing with a single element here, are we? We're dealing with a compound. So we're going to have to add these two together. So I'm going to go over here and say, all right, I've got one zinc and one oxygen. So one zinc is going to equal 65.38. OK. And one oxygen is going to be 16. So I'm going to add 65. 0.38 plus 16, and that's going to give me a mass of 81.38, and that's going to go up top there. Okay, so now we're going to take that and times it by 5, which gives me 406.90 grams of zinc oxide. Okay, so the next problem says I have 12 moles of HCl. Okay, so if I have 12 moles of HCl, how many grams of HCl do I have? Well, once again, one mole of HCl goes on the bottom and we'll, we'll need grams of HCl, but like I said before, we have to calculate that because it's a compound, not an element. So in this case, I have one hydrogen and one chlorine. Hydrogen is 1.01 .01 and chlorine is 35.45. So I add those together. And it's going to give me 36.46 grams of HCl. So now I'm going to take 12 moles times 36.46, and that's going to give me 437.52 grams of HCl. Okay? So Hopefully now I've done some more example problems. It won't be so confusing for you guys to answer those next set of problems, okay? But please email me if you do have trouble with those problems, okay?